In September 2014, a video circulated on social media of a horrific incident in Nairobi in which a woman was stripped naked and robbed while traveling in a public service vehicle. It sent shockwaves across the country with Kenyans demanding justice for the victim. <laughs> Almost three years later, three men have found themselves staring at death row following a verdict by Chief Magistrate Francis Andai. I have considered the uh, considerable length of time that they have spent in custody. I have also considered the circumstances under which the offences were committed. It started in a very simple way. Edward Gitau, Nicholas Mwangi and Meshak Mwangi, who have been in custody since September 2014, are said to have committed the crime in a Gidurai-bound Matatu, which was fueling at a petrol station along the Thika superhighway. What had been done to her, the part on the bat was offensive and she could not stand it. She retaliated and slapped her assailant. She thereafter suffered a lot of humiliation as a consequence of her standing firm because of her right to privacy. They were apprehended after the victim recognized the driver of the Matatu from an identification parade organized by detectives. And I, while delivering the judgment, faulted one of the accused persons for failing to report the incident after recording a video saying his actions proved he was an accomplice. If you consider the first sentence, if it is carried out, then it means that the second sentence cannot be carried out. Therefore, the second count will not be carried out and it will remain in abeyance. Emotions ran high at the Milimani Law Court as relatives and friends of the accused were overwhelmed by the death sentence. They have up to 14 days to appeal the decision at the High Court. Lilian Oteno for Scales of Justice.